hydrated Dude, before you come down. I was going to say, I got the weather alert on my phone. It said 99 degrees tomorrow, and I'm like, bro. 99 starting. Well, right now, we're finally yeah. So we're starting now. We're getting into game number one. All right, here we go. Late and Gen versus Light and Dawn. This set has not happened yet throughout the tournament, so it's their first meeting. We'll see how this one shakes out. Light and Dawn, they have the experience advantage for sure. But also, you know, there's this big question mark. We have the unranked Dawn, who always manages to make it super deep with this team pairing, right? And, I mean, there's definitely a method to the madness. There's a reason he's able to make it so far. This guy is super, super good at teams. The awareness is crazy. I think something that'll help warm them up going into this team right now is the fact that they just played against a very similar blueprint to success in Mr. E and Mars. Both. Uh, you, you see, you're already there. First closeout coming in from Light, taking the stock, of, the stock over Jen. They want the 1v1s. Green team not giving it to them. Yeah, green team probably looking to isolate one of these players mm -hmm. and just gang up on them. But no, I don't know. It's kind of looking like two 1v1s. Yeah. Laid and Dawn, I think that's a really favorable matchup because Lucina just thrashes Mario. And it, right as you said that, it went to exactly what you were just talking about. He forced Jen to the corner, and then Light went in right away so they could blitz the Kool-Aid. That's what they wanted to do in the other set. They couldn't do it. Now this time, it's working a lot better. Blood's such a good tool for separating teammates as well. We saw Don go for that right there. One of the most rarely used moves from Mario, but still a really good one nonetheless. Good mental awareness from late as well. It's like, all right, you know what? There's nowhere he can go. I'm going to catch this up, uh, this up smash right here through the platform. Take out the first stock on Don for committing to that back throw. Well, we saw Don trying to cover the roll to center from uh, from Jen. But wow, yeah, the back throw hitbox is going to take him out. The dead weight KO. That's a bonus in melee, by the way. I love seeing that happen pretty much every time. Just like, oh, and there's going to be yet another stock. But that time, I believe that was Friendly Fire we just saw a second ago, right? I'm not sure. I think it was Paulus Nair. Killing light. Oh, possibly. I... Everyone's on top of each other. It was kind of hard call. Mm -hmm. That's why we got replaced. True story. Yep, and it, there it is. The, we had uh, Devin Extra showing us off the side there. But another stock loss coming in. Jen going down. And uh, Green Team looking much more composed so far in this game. Oh, I love that combo adjustment there from light. Using the bear to run off Nair on Jen. But big breakaway opportunity here. Down there. throw just into the up air. All right, but keep him up, right? And then. Bully Dawn on the ledge. Very great mental awareness from Kool-Aid so far, too. After getting that conversion, putting out that backer on landing, knowing Dawn was trying to come in and save light. Kool-Aid, another one who's really good at, in defense. All but that was so smart. He put him behind into the up smash hitbox with back throw. Dawn's awareness, again, that is what gets him through. He's super keen on all these little situations that don't even happen in singles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just having that extra body in the way to give you like a, an extra second to think about and close things out. But Don has just been winning a lot of these 2 ones or at least like the, the awareness game. Uh, I thought he was going to go for a fair, but he ended up going for a rising up here instead. Oh, the up smash. So good at catching two frames, by the way, especially on Fox, who generally will just be a hair above the edge. But you see Light, of course, very crucial spacing right there, making sure that he didn't get caught by Light's forward smash. Yeah, another crucial thing too, getting that stock gone on Don there, and now there's no four stock that can happen here with Light sitting at 85%. We've already seen the fact that Don hasn't been able to close out these 2v1 so far, so if they could force that, it would be a much better position for the red team to try and take this while looking very, very dangerous uh, spot right here. Surprise Paulo's hanging on after that up smash from Mario, but this could be near the end for red team. It's really all about taking care of Light right now. Fox such a no pun intended, light character. Oh, but there we go. Finally able to line it up off that back throw. And is that the game? No, no that center. back is so much weaker as well. Even at the at the ledge, sometimes it won't kill. All right, late. Such a wily player in his own right, though. I wouldn't be surprised to see him win the 2v1, but no. It's just so difficult in this yeah, game. Yeah, the commitment from that shield breaker ended up putting him a little bit too much end lag there. The landing from light just going right in there with that back air. You know, if, if he went for something a little bit, Less end lag, might have been to punish him, but that's not what happened. We're gonna see game number one going to the green team. All right, well, here we go, folks. Best of five set, plenty of time left for Jen and Laid to adjust, but Light and Don just saying, you know what, man? Teamwork is gonna prevail in this format. Nine out of 10 times, maybe eight out of 10 times over individual skill. Mm -hmm. And even then, you've got a top 10 player in the world on one side of the screen. Yeah, we also have, uh, you know, two players who have taken upsets on him as well. And, you know, yeah. Don, Don is, you know, no slouch in himself, but you have Jen and Late who both understand that the main 
goal to this is to prevent Light from doing what he wants to get done, and they understand his game plan. I see that rapid jab, try to pass off to Dawn, just kept it going a little bit longer. Wow! Light with the bravest Firefox right into the center of the stage. Worked out for him too because he ended up having a hitbox that was strong enough to avoid the trade on that fair from Jen, who would have definitely gone off stage to try and get him with a nair or a down air at some point afterwards. Well, Jen and Laid with full control of the stage right now and the percents. It's definitely the best they've looked throughout this set so far. Yeah, for sure. Looking much cleaner right there. Just barely avoiding that F smash, uh, which would have been Late's jump too. So that could have been an early stop. Gip attempt from Don, but he's going to get by. I'm loving the combo adjustments from Don. Again, really aware in doubles. You could see just how he switches things up with his chases. Yeah, just barely missing the volley there, but you know, it, it, now that he's missed it, he's gonna be back in his head like, okay, I gotta go for the full hop next time. Looks like the green team, after taking abuse, hard abuse at the start, they, but never mind. <laughs> We're gonna see a stock close out and another one coming from Kool Aid. Okay, but quick response from Light. The immediate revenge kill right there and unable to connect that backer. Probably wouldn't have killed Jen, but still would have kept him away. Been able to bully Laid just a little bit more upon returning, and I'm loving the parries from Dawn. You know what, you don't have to necessarily react, you just have to guess. All right, I think they're gonna apply a hitbox to me right now. It's not a, as complicated as, you know, counting frames or any ridiculous stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier than it looks. And so, you know, we've said it multiple times throughout the night, simplicity is key. As long as you have at least a decent game plan, but you see Light go for multiple full hops. He was actually trying to bait, um, Jen to go a little bit early off the ledge to maybe get him with a backer, but Jen didn't bite. Okay, Don slipping past Jen at the edge there, but meanwhile, Lade dealing with Light, and they just switched. Lade ran himself to the edge while Lade uh, ledge trapping. Definitely yeah. a cool aid option for sure. And just running right into center stage too, with no hitboxes or anything along the way. It's like, nope, nope, I want center stage and I'm gonna get it. I love the way he plays, man. It's so weird. <laughs> No follow-up there from Don, but Light putting him right in position. Mm. It looks like they're kind of able to make this one back, though. They just have to get rid of Laid. Don has to stay healthy. It's really in the name of the game here. If we're seeing Light take point in most of these situations, which I feel like he has been, then he just needs that extra stock to fall back on because his character is so fragile. We're definitely seeing much more drastic improvements of Jen so far throughout the set, too. Uh, the fact that he's been holding these ledge traps so well, he's been forcing the initiative. Uh, and that Firefox that worked out earlier isn't going to work out this time. It's going to end up leading his demise, and Don also going to go down. All right, last stock for both of these guys right now. Oh, and Laid joining them. Okay, Don with the pickup, but just an up air. I don't Either think we've seen one moment so far in this set where we've seen stocks lost that weren't immediately followed by the other team. Like, these these have been throwing hands set so far. They, they, very explosive gameplay. Quickest response time, man. Oh, and the forward smash, so strong, man. And this is really, really tight at this point. And whoever loses this game is going to be really tight. I feel it already. Yeah, you know, you got, you definitely want to go into this next. Oh, low battery online makes sure somebody charge your controller. But, you know, the fact that you could be seeing a 2-0 deficit from Laid and Jen, they do not want to have to make that run back, especially on a momentum-based light. If they could get this point on the board now, they'd be much better. They could get, not have to worry about being down on counterpick disadvantage. Yeah, to shut down this comeback from Light and Dawn would be huge for Laid and Jen. But I don't know if it's going to happen because they've just been unstoppable since taking the second stocks. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at Light threading the needle just right in between both Jen and Laid there. Oh, and that'll do it. All right. That Jen, can he win another 2v1? And you saw how Light backed off to bait the Nair out of uh, Jen because he saw he was going to try and punish him. As soon as he saw it ended, oh, we're going to go down to a 1v1 situation. Though. Is Don going to finally be able to close one of these out? He has to deal with Jen, who's been doing so well in these spots. All right, Jen, 2v1 god, perhaps. Oh, he wanted to trump. Cape makes it actually easier. We were talking about how it's a little harder to get the runoff ledge grab, but moves like mm -hmm. Mario's cape actually kind of do it just for you. Corner pressure so tight. Oh, and that took him out. Don clutching it for his team, proving his worth, man. He's definitely one of the sickest teammates you could have. I did not think that was going to kill. And Me he neither. was doing a good job of, like, you see how many false hitboxes he was putting out there, trying to bait the jump out of Jen. And then finally, after that one missed, it's like, all right, he's going to try to do it a grounded approach. Instead, he catches the jump fadeaway, and that up smash is able to close it out. That was so clean from Don, the conditioning right there. He knew he had Jen's back against the wall. He's like, all right, how are you going to react when you're pressured and you have nowhere to run? Mm -hmm. and I like that from Jen, too, not going for the obvious roll to center, right? I mean, obviously, it cost him there, but still very smart. Just 
not committing to rushing back into stage control. Yeah, Jen knew the book of up smash was online. Like, the, you know, that's the trait that Mario's are going to go for every time, looking for maybe a roll there. But Don did a good job of counterplaying that by baiting those jumps, and that ended up leading this tool deficit they're looking at. Oh, Light wanting that shine. That could have been such a huge early stock. 4% on Jen. Imagine going out that early. I think Jen's a pretty momentum-based player, too. When, he, when you get him down, he has that fire within him, you know, he gets a little angry and it powers him up, but sometimes you can just push that frustration onto a player and it really goes a long way. Yeah, if we're talking about, you know, men men mental composure right now too, you see if, it, you know, you can't see the player cams right now, but both Kool-Aid and Jet, very serious right now, but Light and Don, smiling a lot. They're, they're, very, they're feeling it because they feel good about those comebacks they've been making, and that's gonna lead to some really good team conversions, and you see the defense already from Don improving too with these parries, keeping himself even at high percent still alive. Oh, using the Flood just to make Laid take extra long to recover. And buying even just one second, so important. Wow, Laid giving him a parting gift of that up air. And we're going to see momentum start early for the red team. Oh, but again, able to line it up. Light looking like a real good barber right now. Definitely need that trim right up on the shape up. And Don definitely looking like he's walking around with a fresh cut, feeling confident because he is just playing so much better in this game number three. Yeah, I think winning that 1v1 against Jen really kind of powered him up, giving him confidence boost, and he's like, all right, you know what, I'm here to play. Unfortunately for Jen, too, you know, you had a bit of a body bag with the armor frames, uh, or the invincibility frames on the grab. Kept Light alive after that force smash went off. Smart by Don not to go for the back throw. He knew Light was going to be just a little bit too close, didn't want to take his stock with that. Oh, I love the dare into the ground from Laid, and that's one of my favorite things to do with Lucina as well. Get yeah. so much off of it. And we talk about the you know Kool-Aid options. He that's one of his favorite mix-up tools in general. It's a good option to go for, especially half of people sleeping. Uh, they think that you're trying to get, get an anti on them. No. <laughs> Light taking a second to realize who he grabbed there is like, oh, it's my boy. Mm -hmm. and just toss him away to safety. Yep. Still able to get a volley though. Can't get himself in position to be able to close that out, and Jen's gonna punish him for it. Yeah, you gotta DI that dash attack out, and of course, being that it's a horizontal looking move, it's very mm -hmm. tricky, unintuitive even. Oh, clutch up smashes though from Don. He's able to just sneak right under you. And these are two jump in based characters. That up smash from Mario really threatening against them. Yeah, again, we've already seen how good Kool Aid's uh, defense has been while being up against the wall. He's consistently gotten back to center stage, but can't get back to light fast enough to go stop him from killing Jen. Oh, man. We're seeing everyone try to get light off the stage right now. Yes, and rare that he's the one stock tanking, but. It's just been some unfortunate ends to the socks for Dawn. So Light playing the opposite role from usual. Oh, oh and that's still enough to do it, but Light going to go down the process. Hey, Not bad, though. That's Demons cash pretty money right there. You know, that after trying to go for the shine a little bit too early on that teleport, and now we're looking at Kool-Aid having to play this perfectly in this 2v1 so he can keep themselves alive, but we might be looking at our second 3-0. Yeah, and even if we see Don go down here to an errant back air or forward smash or something like that, Light is just so healthy right now that he's extremely favored to win the 1v1. Oh, the save, though. He says, oh, what? 23%? Oh, my. He, what? We were just talking about how healthy he was, but the fact that he committed to go for that save. Oh, oh we're going to get the up smash cancel out of Don. Light is just, like, I, I don't know what they're what they're babbling about Dude. over there right now, but Don is definitely the MVP of those last I, two sets with how he was able to clutch those matches out. I think Light was just like, yo, this guy, you know? <laughs> oh my god, my heart rate is through the roof right now. That was so intense, and he won for Shield Breaker Actually, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure what they're saying is that, like, Don is like, why did you go out there after me? I still had a jump. It's like, I know you had a jump. <laughs> just yelling at each other, but... No, I mean, no, no, Light, uh, Don was dead. He, You saw him up B, and he was in free fall. He was 100% oh, right, right. dead, yeah. So that was a great save. I have no idea what the yelling about, but they get the yell while sitting and lose the side of grand finals now. Yeah, but I, I think what it was is like, hey, you were at eight percent, bro. Why would you save me? That's probably.